So, yeah, I haven't been getting very many good cases lately. You know that time I took off because the boys were sick, and, you know, I got dropped from that one. And then Your boss kind of... dropped you from that one because your boys were sick? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you that know, I mean, if, uh, you should do with that guy. That I mean, he is such an ass. I mean, I can't believe it. You really need to have a talk with him. You need to go in his office, sit him down, and, and straighten him out. I mean, he can't be treating you yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, he, he's not that bad. It's just, um, you know, it's just not difficult. Not that bad. He, he's not giving you the good cases, and you're so smart. I mean, you, you really need to tell him, you know, how to treat you. But people only treat you the way you let them treat you. Right, so you need to go in and teach him. I, you know, it's just, that's what happens in a lot. You know, when you're working on a case, it's got a deadline. They're not going to stop for you. And so if you can't come through, you know, they, they drop you and that's what happens. So then you should get another job. I mean, you're going to live, how can you do that? Selena, live in, work in an office like that. I mean, so, you know, my mom and I could go on for hours with her advice to me. But I think that I'm going to go, you know, with what Simon's been doing, this nonviolent communication thing, check in with myself. What do I need? I need to be heard. I just need her to hear me. I don't need her advice. So I should check in with her and see what's going on with her. You must be really worried about me, are you? Yeah, I am. Sweetie, you spent so many years going to school and now you're in this place where they're treating you badly? I mean, that's just terrible. That's just not acceptable. It's got to feel horrible seeing me go through something difficult. Oh, I can't difficult. stand that. I mean, I know how hard you work and then you go home to the kids you know, it's like, do you ever get a break? I can't, I just, you know, I worry about your health, about you being overstressed and not having any time to yourself. I just, uh, and, and I just, I just can't stand to think of people treating you unfairly and badly. Mm -hmm. It just, just breaks my heart. Thanks for looking out for me. You really want yeah. me to be doing well. And, and I want you to be treated and... well by everybody in your life. I just don't want to see you, you know, struggling and, and and being disrespected. I mean, you don't deserve that. You deserve, you know, the, the best. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate yeah. you're always looking out for me. Yeah. Really Can I tell you, you something real quick? Like, when I talked to you, I, I realized that I, what I really wanted was just to be able to talk and kind of get it off my chest and have you hear me. And I, I don't think I'm ready for a solution or strategies of what I need oh. to do next. And I'm not sure if I'm ready to make the change at work that I need to. I, I feel like I just need to get it off my chest with you. Would that be okay? Yeah. If I just talk to you and you just kind of listen. Yeah, just a sounding board kind of thing. Yeah. So, so you really don't want advice right now? Not really. Saying? Thank you, though. Oh, sure. Sure, I, I can do that. Thanks, Mom.